adding a video to your PowerPoint presentation is a great way to get ideas across to your audience in a fun and engaging way. It's also a great way to bring the design of your presentation up to the next level. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to insert a video into your PowerPoint presentation. Let's get started. Okay, so I've got this slide that I wanna add a video to. And all I have to do is go up here to the insert ribbon and all the way to the right under the media section, you can see that we've got the option to insert a video. And under that, we've got a few different options video from this device that's a video that's on your computer one from stock videos which is a selection of videos in a stock library and then online video let's start off by showing you how to insert an online video you're going to click on that and then it's going to ask you to enter the url for an online video now there's a bunch of different video hosting platforms but we will use youtube to start off with youtube is an online video and the way you're gonna get the URL for this video is you're going to go down here beside the thumbs up and thumbs down is the share button. And when you click on that, you're gonna get dialogue that will allow you to share it to a bunch of different places. But what we want is this YouTube link right here and we wanna copy it. Now you do have the option to select start at a particular time. And that's really great if you've got a long video that you wanna start at midway, you can do that. But for this one, we're gonna just copy the direct link there. So I've copied it to my clipboard. I'm gonna go back into my presentation, use control V to paste that in and insert the video. And just like that, you're gonna see that it's going to insert this a link to this YouTube video. There we go, looking good. So now we've got that there in our presentation. And we have a few different options along the top here that we can play around with here. So we can do some color corrections, change the color of it. We can even add a poster frame to it. This is actually gonna allow you to change the image that's on the top there. You can change that um, from a file, you can do that. Um, and then you've got some designs that you can use, some styles you can add to it. So we can add a border around it to make it blend in with the scene and choose a different style, there you go. So there's a lot of different options you have there. Let's just choose this one here, I think it blends in nicely. And then, all the way to the right, you've got the effects that you would normally get with most things in PowerPoint. So you've got sh borders, video effects, you could add a drop shadow if you wanted to, or a glow around it. And then you've got the arrange options to bring it forward or backward. You can see if I send it back, it'll go behind my image there or bring it forward. So lots of different controls for your video. You've also got playback controls. So you can choose to play it in click sequence um, on this YouTube video. So when you click it, it's gonna load up the YouTube video and it's going to start playing from the beginning. Now, like I said, if you use that, sh that share link at a specific time, you can also choose to play the video in the middle of the video or the end, wherever you'd like. Okay, so that is how you would use an online video. Let's show you how to insert a video that's on your device. So I'm gonna go to the next slide and this is a really great way you can take the design elements of your presentation and do some really cool things with video. So I'm gonna again go to insert and then select video. And for this one, we're gonna do from this device. Okay, the dialog box is up. We've got a video here that's on our device and I'm gonna select insert. That's gonna insert the video into our slide. You can see here, we've got this nice video. I can, if I want to, click along the bottom and play it there. You go, we see the preview of that video as it's playing through. Let's just pause it. Now, when we click on the video, we've got a bunch of different options. The same kind of formatting options that we had with the online video. You can see we can change the border and all that kind of stuff. There are some great playback functions as well here that we can choose from. Um, you can see that we can actually trim the video. So if, for example, let me show you the end of this video and how I don't really want the end. You can see here that I start to kind of move the camera away to turn it off. So I can actually go in select trim video and then right over here you can see I can trim the beginning so we can pull it in a little bit and I can also trim the end to remove all that stuff that I didn't want while it was still just sitting still so now we've got that we've trimmed the video it's only going to play the parts that I want to play we can also adjust the volume for example this video we're going to make it a background so I actually don't want any volume so I'm going to mute it you can select whether it will play full screen or hide it while it's not playing. 
Um, and then this one is when the video is going to start. So you can do it in the click sequence of all your different animations. You can do it automatically or when it's clicked on. So specifically, you're going to have to click on the video to play it. Um, I usually like to do it um, automatically where I will, if I'm putting a slide with a video on it and it's a full screen video, it's automatic. But you could do it if it's a part of the slide, either in click sequence or when you click on it, because maybe you have a presentation where you don't know if you're going to show the video or not, but you want it in the slide. So that's great to have when clicked on. So let's do automatically for this example. Now that we've had it set to automatically, I want to make this the full size of my presentation slide. So now I've dragged it out there. It's the full size. And I actually want to send this to the back. So I'm going to right click it send it to the back because I'm going to make this a really cool dynamic animated background. That's what the purpose of this is. So we can do a title here. We're going to call it the spooky forest. And now let me click back on that video to show you some more of these playback options. So it's going to play automatically when we get to this slide. It's you can select whether or not you want it to play full screen. Now in this instance, I don't want it to play full screen. It is taking up the full slide but I don't want it to take everything over and go full screen. This you would do if you wanted the video to take everything over and play in full screen. The other thing that I want to do here specifically for this one is I want to loop it until it's stopped. And that's going to keep looping the video until I choose to go to the next slide. You can also insert captions, which is really great for accessibility. If you've got a, uh, a VTT file, which is a subtitle file, you can actually add it into the video so that it's super accessible for your audience. All right, we've got this background video here. We've got some text on there. Let's make it, um, let's try to find a spooky font. I don't know, let's just do that. We'll make it a little bit bigger as well. There we go, that's looking good. So now when we go to this slide, you're gonna see how great it's gonna look. Let's play our presentation from the beginning just to show everybody how it works. So this YouTube video is just a video we can click on. When we click on it, it's going to pull up the YouTube video and play it for us. So that's how that one works there. We're going to pause it. Now, when we go to the next slide, when we hit next um, on our slide here, you can see that it's going to go to our slide with the video. It's playing the video automatically and it's just playing it. We've got nice text on there. So it looks really great. And it's a great visual element that you can use in all of your presentations. You know, add a video in the background. You can have the video looping so that it's always going to be playing. I don't have to do anything. It's constantly just playing in the background. And it adds, like I said, this great visual element that you can use in your slides to really elevate it to the next level. There you go. That's how you can add a video into your PowerPoint presentation. It can really elevate your presentation up to that next level by adding such a great visual element to your slides. Are there any creative ways that you can think of that you would add a video into your presentation? If you can think of some, let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you would be so kind, please subscribe to our channel. It helps us out a lot. Until next time, I'm Richard Gunter, and thanks for watching.